They say I'm crazy. The way you got me open, baby. Ooh. They say I'm bugging. The way I'm top sweating, y'all love it. Hey loves, welcome back to another video. If you are new here, I am Sharnit. So I'm gonna be doing my nails today because uh, look at these nails y'all. It is time to tackle my nails. It's been long overdue. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can easily do a French tilt mani at home yourself, no acrylic. So let's get into it. So I'm setting everything up. All the products will be linked down below in my description box. So I'm starting with my beat up ass drill, but had this drill for so long it's very affordable i do but highly recommend this for beginners and she just always gets the job done love 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 this drill these are the cuticle drill bits that i will be using these are specially made for russian manis which i specialize in now like i love russian manis but first we're going to drill off um the old polish and everything first so i'm taking a buffing drill bit and i'm just going to use that to drill off all of the old polish so i guess i'll talk to y'all about why i stopped doing nails while y'all sit and watch me do my nails okay so if you don't know i did become a like nail technician maybe like two years ago it's kind of like right after the pandemic but kind of in between the pandemic and long story short during this journey i realized that i love nails i do have a passion for nails like I still have a passion for it but I've decided and I realized that I think I would rather be a nail content creator like a nail influencer if you will like I don't think I have a desire to service clients but I still want to do nails I still enjoy doing my nails and I enjoy making nail content and I think for me I would rather get paid by just working with nail brands and doing nail partnerships versus like taking clients if that makes sense I know it makes sense okay I know it making sense to somebody out there and I feel like with the nail industry it's so it's so like super diverse and it's like so much you could honestly do with being a nail tech a nail artist or just being in the nail industry period like you can be a nail educator you can be a nail technician you can be a nail influencer it's literally so much that you can do but you have to choose what you desire to do and I know for me like I said I've grown a passion for just being a nail content creator and creating content around nails like I enjoy still doing my nails I enjoy even doing my loved ones nails but again I don't think I have a passion to sit behind a chair and really take clients like I think that's not the lane for me or that's not the lane that I desire to be in so I feel like I enjoy creating the content um being creative using my hand to practice on and yeah i definitely don't want to stop doing nails i just want to continue doing it in the way that i want to do it i hope that makes sense so right here i'm going in with another cuticle drill bit and we're going to clean up my cuticles this is my favorite favorite parts like i love cleaning up the cuticles i love taking my time making sure my cuticles are nice and neat and clean i've been so into russian manis if you guys don't know definitely do your research on russian manicures and pedicures i'm so obsessed with it like i love everything about it so what you pretty much see me doing is i'm drilling one side at a time so i'm doing the left side going one direction i believe it was going either forward or backwards but i'm drilling one side going one direction and i'm going to go back and drill the other side with the drill bit turning the opposite direction so this kind of gives me that russian mani type of vibe that i was telling y'all about like i said if you don't know much about russian manicures that's just a more upgraded version of manis um with the super clean cuticles and all of that so so yeah if you are interested in investing in drill bits i definitely highly recommend you girls to make sure you invest in quality drill bits because this trust me they make a difference okay when i first started doing nails on myself you know i got everything cheap and it was cool to start off with but quality definitely makes a difference so you know for me i definitely want to invest in some quality nail equipment and products that's going to give me the look that I was going for Ooh, 
So right here, I'm dusting away all that dust. I like to do this in between each step. Going in with my cuticle nippers. I love these nippers. Got these from Amazon. And listen, they work like a charm. And they get the job done, okay? They are super, super sharp. Just a heads up if you decide to order these. But you would not be disappointed. I definitely cut myself a few times fucking around with these cuticle nippers, y'all. But I just love how they cut. Definitely check this product out. I will link it down below for y'all. I love a clean cuticle. I would literally spend all day perfecting and cutting cutting my cuticles, y'all. I really feel like the cuticles is like the most important, important part when it comes to the nail. Damn near. Because if your cuticles are not neat and clean, it's like, what's the point, right? They say I'm crazy, the way you got me up and baby, Ooh. they say I'm bugging. So the next drill bit that I'm going to be taking is a flame drill bit. I also forgot to mention that these drill bits are diamond e-file drill bits. So this is the flame drill bit. It's shaped like a flame, of course. And with this drill bit, I love this one because it pretty much helps perfect and clean up anything that I miss from filing the first time. And after cutting the cuticles, I like to go in with this one afterwards just to clean it up a little more and just to file away any leftover dead skin, especially like like deep um you know deep in the cuticle not too deep though because you don't want to file too too deep um within your cuticle but just enough to where it's just perfecting and getting the rest of that skin and then i just love this because it's not going to cut you and it doesn't feel uncomfortable at all so just an fyi when you're cutting your cuticles you want to use drill bits that are meant for the cuticles So I'm using my cuticle nippers to trim my nail down, y'all, because I cannot find my nail clippers any freaking where. So yeah, but it definitely got the job done. So no complaints. So going in with the last drill bit now this one is a slight slight bigger than the first two and this one pretty much is going to buff away any dead skin it's going to polish around my cuticles it's just going to give us the final finish touches after that i'm going to file and shape my nail so we're doing square slightly rounded but not really but mainly square and i'm going to file around shape my nail and all of that good stuff I'm starting back small, not small, I'm starting back short, and I'm going to let my nails grow back out, so I'm excited. I like to always kind of start back over short and just let them naturally grow back out, so yeah.
So going in with my Young Nails Protein Bun. This is the primer. And I'm going to go ahead and sanitize my nails first. I'm using a alcohol wipe just to make sure there's no dust. I did wash my hands before this, but I like to go in with an alcohol wipe just to ensure there's no dust, especially before I apply my primer because once the dust get in the primer, girl, it's no use, okay? So that's what y'all see me doing. I like to prime my nails. Even though we're using a gel, I'm still going to prime my nails. So I'm going in with the Mill Secret builder gel love builder gel let me put y'all girls on okay so long story short i don't do acrylic anymore um i have grown to love builder gel y'all first off i feel like builder gel just gives a more natural look and if you know like you know like i mentioned i'm so into like russian manis now and a lot of um russian manis are done with builder gel the whole time you'll think it's acrylic and it's not okay so i love using this stuff it definitely gives a more of a natural look and i definitely recommend it for the girls like if you have super thin nails and you want to add a little thickness to your natural nail this is the stuff for you and especially for beginners i feel like this stuff is perfect because literally all you're doing is kind of like polishing it on like regular polish so i know a lot of people don't know how to use acrylic and acrylic can be very difficult to use especially if you're not used to using it but with this stuff it's literally easy all i did was go in with two to three layers and voila i usually go in with thicker layers if my nails are long and i can't wait for my nails to grow out so i can show y'all what i mean because once they grow out they're gonna look like acrylic but it's not gonna be acrylic it's gonna be builder gel but yes yes i definitely recommend builder gel for my beginners so once i'm done i like to go in and wipe it with a alcohol wipe and now let's get to the fun part time to polish our nails so i'm gonna go in with the madam glam polish today i'm taking pink and i'm gonna go in with white i got some foil to put my polish on i'm gonna go in with the pink polish y'all because i want to kind of polish over the you know you can kind of still see the imperfections from my natural nails so i kind of want to go in with that pink just to kind of add some color to my nail i did go in with the dnd base gel and then i cured it under the lamp and then now i'm polishing it with the pink and then i cured that for about 60 seconds and then pretty much for the tip you want to just take your time focus on making an upside down c if that makes sense i'm going in with a very very skinny brush y'all and i'm just taking my time with it um you do want your french tips to be pretty much damn near perfect i know for me i know i do i actually did go in and wipe the entire hand off and start it over because like like i said i like my french tips to be perfect to be neat so you want to just take your time with this it can be super tricky but once you get it girl you got it so that's what i'm doing and what helps me is taking a very very skinny brush i cannot do those fat ass thick ass brushes because i will mess up and y'all can see i'm usually i'm pretty much using my pinky as a support system honey because listen holding my pinky in place towards that finger is going to keep that finger steady and still so i won't mess up so just another tip use that pinky hold it against um your finger use that thumb and yeah but this is my easy hand when i try to do my opposite hand y'all it's a struggle overall it's coming out pretty good and look at that so this is how it looks with the first layer and i cured it and i'm going back in and i'm just pretty much re-going back over the white areas just to make that white of course stand out i usually would do three layers of this but this polish i will say i do love the madam glam polish because you usually don't need to go back over it that many times especially with the white the white always shows up super bright the second go round. so yeah
so after i cured the second layer now i'm going to go in with some top gel coat top this nail pop it back in the lamp and girl we are done after i cure it under the lamp i'm going to file them put some cuticle oil on and yeah girl we are done that is the final look i love how these came out i just love french tip nails so much they always give like a classy vibe and i hope this video was helpful for you girls because you definitely can do it yourself at home save you a little coin give yourself a mini and yeah thank y'all for watching don't forget to check down below in my description box for all the product details thumbs this video up leave some comments down below let me know y'all's thoughts if you made it all the way through join the gang by subscribing thank y'all for watching i love y'all so much and i'm gonna see y'all in my next video